a dear prudence stuck in my head now, going on four days. Look around, round, 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 round. It's going round, 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 round. Vinny, are you playing Final Fantasy VII at midnight tonight? Uh, just no. It's it's on it's unlocking tonight. Got to download a hundred gigs for it. Yeah, I think today's Wednesday, dude. That's okay. Hey, listen, I get it. I don't know what day it is either until I check. Who the fuck even knows? It's crazy. Um, hi, Isabel. But anyway, welcome to the stream. Wait, is today Wednesday? Yeah, it is. Thanks, Isabel. Hmm, there really isn't any news to speak of today. Oh, did you know that Final Fantasy VII is not going to be re releasing tonight? Thanks, Isabel. Um, did anyone else see that talk show yesterday on TV? You know the one. No, I saw the documentary. I like watching for the guests, but the hosts are such chatterboxes. They're always rambling on and on and on and on. Oh dear. There I go again, prattling on about my first personal TV habit. Sorry, folks. That's all for now. Hope you all enjoy the loveliest of lovely day. It was beautiful out. So it was nice out today. I actually ended up going outside for a bit. Um, it's just good to get some fresh air for a couple minutes. Even if it is only just a couple minutes. Hey, Scoot. Yo. But yeah, um, I don't know. Final Fantasy VII, I'll let you know. I gotta check my order, because I got one of the special editions. Not the crazy one. Wizard Scoot. Wow! <laughs> Alright, Oh my god. It looks great. You really know my style, ZipZoom. Gotta give as much as you take. Please take this thick stripes shirt. Yo, it's me, Wizard Scoot. He's carrying his lunch. Harry Potter looking motherfucker now. Jesus. Chat wants to know who's in the grave. I don't have an answer. This gift is a real? From Willow, passion you pour into building your home deserves respect. To a wonderful friend with a wonderful home. I hope you find this little gift I picked out wonderful too. Oh no, Willow! We're removing you soon. Let's celebrate the new edition. Please accept this gift. Okay. Yeah, Willow's- Willow's getting... tossed. Alright, now listen up. No more fan mail from Willow. This tree is now inaccessible. Oh no. Oh hi, back again so soon? that out at some point but just did you eat already no you going going back back inside if scoot goes back inside then that's probably the exact amount of time I was outside for myself interesting he delivered the secret package to Humphrey mono do not. <laughs> Let 
Long bathtub? Tankless toilet. Skeleton. I don't know which one of these Jackal gave me. They're all kind of weird. I guess the skeleton. That's- that's my... Yeah, that's my guess. Also, you notice I have the down-to-business apron? Yeah, it was the skeleton. Put the skeleton in your closet. Why? Skeletons belong out in the open. Alright, everybody, it's me, Sam. We're gonna get down to business. Sorry, not down to business. We're gonna have, uh, the traditional... Labor Day song. Today... ...is a special day. It's the day of labor. For the day. Let's see. Oh yeah, I have this. Oh, speaking of this, someone sent this to me. So this- this apparently became kind of a popular post. Uh... Look at Scoot's react- this is not from my town, by the way. This is from someone else's town online, right? So Scoot's reaction is amazing. Um, and then... I was also informed that there was a comment saying, Vinny from Vine Sauce would love this, he's addicted to anything Scoot related, right? So the next comment was... Yeah, this doesn't even register on the list of weird shit that's happened involving Scoot. For example, that time Vinny tried to become Scoot, Vinny's Masturbatorium slash Scoot Shrine, the Global Scoot Observation System, and the Scoot Dimension. Okay, understand that I don't know what the last two are. I don't remember the Scoot Dimension or the GSOS. I might need a reminder, the Masturbatorium... I- I, rem I remember that one. Maybe. A little bit. That one, it wasn't- it wasn't specifically, it was just a shrine. It was just a shrine. I'll show you. It was this one, from New Leaf, you know? So, you've seen this already, right? Okay. Um... Then you have this right here. Someone made this for me and sent this to me today. This is from Mads. Mads Line Art. I just thought that this was great. It's Prison Scoot. It's also the gun picture, holding it correctly. The Scoot Dimension from Minecraft? I don't know, man. It's It's- it, I'm having a hard time remembering or registering. God damn it. You had a town of many scoots. That was not my town. Okay, now that was years ago. That was Dem's town, not mine. That was another person. I just went to visit, chat. I went to visit, that's all. So, I mean, it's real. Okay, that happened. But, yeah, I, I actually did not have anything to do with that. <laughs> I swear. Soon I will be able to take a shit. Wow, look at all this. There's- there's a lot of room for activities up here. This is a little bit different than usual. This room is long compared to previous Animal Crossing games where it was just the same size. Very, very cool. I mean, I, I kinda just now have some parts for a bathroom. Now. I love that skeleton. I had that in New Leaf, but look at the detail on the skeleton. So detailed. Oh, it's great! I 
I love it. I absolutely love it. That is a fantastic skeleton. The toilet lid raises as you get near to it. That's kind of creepy. Put my big clam away. But yes, today I will be performing various tasks and activities. Jordan, what do you do here? Various tasks and activities. Someone said, who's average height? You are the skeleton. Um... I don't know. That was like a real human. That looked like a, like an actual human skeleton. I don't know. Five eleven versus six foot. Oh, <laughs> okay. I see. This is post apocalypse. Po yeah, past the Animal Crossing apocalypse. Remember, Nintendo likes to throw that at you every now and then. I read that it's fun with feces. Like in Pikmin, it really is post-apocalyptic. So Animal Crossing is the same. The animals have taken over the Earth again. You are one of the few humans left and the radiation has shrunk you down. It's all very, you know, implicit lore. You, you, you never read it anywhere, but you can, you know, it's not like Doom. Oh my god. We'll, we'll listen to that more another time. Oh yeah, Kirby 64. The Frozen Star was... Dead Earth. So Nintendo definitely likes to do post-apocalyptic scenarios, like Breath of the Wild, that's the whole storyline. So that's actually 100% real. Yep, Pickle Dickman, that's right. As I was just saying, hey, Wizard Scoot, tell me, what's the news, Wizard Scoot? You seem hyped as oh. Let me guess, there's an egg that can come out of a rock. Did I hear right? Did you really bury a bunch of bells somewhere yesterday? Oh my god. Can we get a DLC update with more villager dialogue? Evening, you know. I get so hyped when the cherry blossoms start falling, which kind of spoils the zen of it, honestly. search for the legit trees continues. It never ends. God damn it. Gold. 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 Vinny, give Scoot an egg hat. He looks good with it. But he's got a prison hat. Yeah, Scoot will wear, like, any of the ducks will wear their... You know, the eggs, I'm sure, and look like they just hatched. But Scoot in particular already has a swim cap. But he'll wear it on top of the swim- the swim cap.
Vinny, how does this emote make you feel? What is that? Oh god, it's the Oku from Twilight Princess. Fuck that. Two beautiful stories now. Hope you take this opportunity to experiment with some new styles and interior design, which brings us to the build. 1,248,000 bells. Part of the home customization, you can now replace siding. Roof siding, door, and mailbox. Changing these can make you feel like your home is brand new. Um, not only can you change, you can change its location, too. Uh, it takes you that long for Tom Nook to tell you about that? Dog, I want a new mailbox. Why is that available to everybody? What is that? What channel is that emote? It's a Frankerface Global emote? Man Chicken? Oh, fuck. Fuck. Well, hey, this makes it easy. And you can actually see what it looks like. That's great. Some good changes in this game. Not all are, you know, things that haven't exactly gotten to the point where I feel like it's it's perfect, but it's it's getting there. It's it's getting really like stuff like this is just fantastic. Wow. That's some fancy shit right there. I could have a dungeon door. Kind of like this one. Metal, red metal accent door. What do you think of this house, chat? Let's see, do I have a roof that would go a little bit better? Maybe like a green stone roof. Oh, that looks nice. Rustic. Vinny, purple accent door is better. It is, actually. Very gnomish. It's almost hobbity. I like that better, even. Black large mailbox. Why are these mailboxes so... Oh, okay, here's the ones I like. These are better. Um... Ordinary mailbox. Vinny, your house is too dark. For whose standards? Rustic. Cheek wooden mailbox. I think this is the one that fits the most. Cheek tweets! Interesting design choice. That'll be 5,000 bells. You can customize all of it for 5,000 bells. That's good. I like that. Someone said mailboxes could have better designs and colors. That I kind of agree with, but that was good overall. We could go on the Nook Miles tour today. But I have to get, um, Drake in town. I'll do that now so I don't forget. Alright, Drake, where's your card? I have all my duck cards here. You know, some would say I have all my ducks in a row. Some would say. Vinny, your house is too Drake. Budget Scoot. I'm Drake. What you need, I'm real bored, so let's get interesting. <laughs> get real interesting. Come chill at your island's campsite? Sure, why not? I'll be right over, Quacko.
Someone in chat said superior scoot. <sighs> no. Next, you're gonna tell me Joey is the superior duck. Molly is the superior duck. Molly's fine. Listen, I, it, it's my interest in Scoot is purely nostalgic and irrational. Bill is superior. All right, Bill is pretty cool too. God damn it, I'm gonna do an all Duck Town again, aren't I? You're curious about the current image of Hoor Island? Three star rating! Fuck yeah! We've built a solid reputation and come up during many a water cooler chit chat. Allow me to read an excerpt from the feedback that I gathered. Hoor Island, man. Hearing about how chill it is. <sighs> I'd go if I had the chance. Hey, S. Well, am I hallucinating or was that feedback signed by a KS? Hmm? Yeah, there is. Very clear. KS and the penmanship is quite striking if I do say so myself. Could it be? Can it be? It must be. It's from the one and only KK Slider. What? I can't believe it. We finally achieved our goal of bringing the island, our island, to the attention of THE KK Slider. Not only that, but he said he's looking for an excuse to visit. And what are we waiting for? Yes, let's offer him the chance to hold a concert on our shores. Strike while the iron is hot, they say. Ah, hello. Do I have the pleasure of speaking with a Mr. KK Sl How did Tom Nook have KK's number? I really... What? How accessible is this dude? Yes, yes, I'm with Nook Inc. located on Hoare Island. Hmm. Yes, indeed, we did. We greatly appreciate your valuable feedback. Well, that's actually why I'm calling you. If you're truly interested in visiting Mr. Slider, we would be happy to host you in your musical stylings. Yes, quite. I see. Oh my, you mean... Thank you so much. Yes, I'll be sure to mail you all the details straight away. The entire island will be looking forward to it. Thank you again. Yes, yes, talk to you soon. The nefarious deeds of Tom Nooks, just so we could hang out with K.K. Slider. So what did he say? He'll do the concert. That's right, K.K. Slider is coming here. Amazing. Congratulations, sir. He could be here as soon as tomorrow, but he has to check his schedule, of course. Fine, can you believe it? We finally turned our goal into a reality. We'll spread news of the concert via the island broadcast system. Hope you'll be in attendance, Vine, but you simply must hear K.K. play. Yes, yes. You must. When do I get terraforming? Is that tomorrow? Tomorrow. Twelve thousand miles for both tools. Okay, that's fine. What happens if you make your island really shitty before he gets here? <laughs> Put weeds all over the place. Chop down a bunch of trees, throw cardboard boxes everywhere. Vinny, you don't need the cardboard boxes. What do you mean I don't need them? I need them. I need them. Yo, look at these glasses! Holy shit! Looking built, hoo hoo ha. What's up? Hey, you working up a big sweat out there, hoo hoo ha? Don't forget to stay hydrated. You know, oh, sorry, Louie. Louie, you know, I haven't given you enough wasps. Meanwhile, Diva walks by. 
and then the chat erupts into the face. Thanks, I'll be real careful with it. Did you know some bugs can lift several times their own body weight? Um, McCrame Tapestry? Macrame? What the... Thanks, Louie. Macrama. Macram. You're not gonna win this time. Oh god, what's that? Angry Scoot! Yes, I am. Do you have any idea how long I can hold a rock star scream? Come on. Breath holding contest. You and me. Ready, set, go. Go, Scoot. Ah, oh, Scoot lost. Oh. Did I win? Who? Nope. You lose. I rock. Breath holding champion 2020. Yeah, all of us are. What? Ah, oh, but I've been training. My pecs are super buff. Hey, strong pecs do mean strong lungs, right? No, no. Strong lungs mean strong lungs, and mine are totally stronger. Okay, I win lungs, but how buff are your eyes? Want to find out who can see the farthest? Oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna win that. My eyes are mega strong. Just give me like a week to train. I want to do some endurance squints. <laughs> That's always Scoot, though. He's always doing it. Endurance squints. I've never heard of... Well, you know what? Knock yourself out. Next week it is. We'll stand on the beach and count everyone on the next island, you know. Got this. You're going down. My eyes are number one and two. Zip zoom. That was a nice interaction. Glad I caught it. With those eyes, though, Diva could definitely see... Pretty far. You know who, um, the Macrame Tapestry? I think it's pronounced Macramer. Hey, Jerry. Mac I think it's, yeah, it's pronounced McClanky. Sahara. Good, I need some good... I need some good stuff from Sahara. 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 S Sahara. Big iron. On his hip, right? Thanks, chat. Glad you could finish that. Oh, Louis's house has been placed. Looks good. Looks like a little, you know, neighborhood now. I'm gonna, um, get my tickets for Sahara first. See, I don't. Oh, I don't know what that means. Your villagers are calling you Iron Sea. Where did that name come from? Like Iron Chef? Strange. Marty McFly. Oh. Fishing. Right, that wasn't Marty McFly. Doc! There's a good blooper from the movie The Frighteners where Michael J. Fox is doing his scene and he calls out for Doc. Peter Jackson directed that movie. It's a really good scene. 
good blooper, rather. I don't I've never seen the movie. I should, though. I really should watch that movie. I'm a pretty big Peter Jackson fan. Let's get a rug. Vinny, I hate teeth scoot with every fiber of my being. I, th I thought I had another weird scoot that I saved on my desktop, but I don't... Is this it? No. What, uh... What's the other weird scoot? Oh, someone sent me this. This image. Notice that two of them are villagers I have. How dare you? Oh, no, no, this wasn't a weird scoot. It was just a buff scoot. That's how Scoot, like, you know, that's his Tinder profile. And then they meet him, and he's got little flaps. It's like the Spongebob, like, bone, like, arm, where he's talking about his muscles. Vinny, please do not say little flaps. That's what he has! He's got little flaps! Mysterious wallpaper or equally mystery- What did I get last time, if anyone rem remembers, chat? Um... I got the wallpaper last time? Okay. You can buy the other for 3,000. Well, oh, well, hang on a minute. I thought this was a free one, then I can buy two more. Or I can buy an- yeah. You can keep buying rugs to get tickets for the wallpaper. You can get a free wallpaper and a free floor. You can buy more, but they're duplicate rugs. Oh, it's the same thing? So the free one and the one you buy, is they're both the same thing. Oh. Alright. It only changes when she comes back. Alright, cool. Vinny, no. Ah. Let's try- <laughs> Not the rugs, I mean the, the flooring and the wallpaper. The rugs have dupes, not the flooring and the wallpaper. There are four possible flooring and wallpapers per visit. So, if I buy another flooring, it's possible it will be different from the one I got for free. The floor is the one with the Harrison Ford underneath, not the wallpaper. Let's see. I'm gonna buy a duplicate rug so I can get another uh, wallpaper. I'll just sell it to someone or give it to someone. Bonus exchange, two tickets, and so now I have five tickets, so I guess now I get... Uh, wallpaper. Okay, wallpaper. And then I buy a floor, and then I end up with a fuckload of things. And now I buy flooring. Yeah, I'm addicted to walls and floors. I don't know, I can't help it. Exquisite wall. Sumo ring. Cityscape wall. I like that one. And dark... No, what was the other one I got? I got a... Cityscape, 
Exquisite, Sumo, and Dig Site. Dig Site will be good when I make my basement graveyard. You know, with the with the graves, the skeletons, and the strange, creepy things. Oh, if it's the rainy one, that would be perfect. Blade Runner. It's not- it's not rainy. It looks cool, but... Yo, there's some dimension to this, too. It- the effect doesn't quite hold up when you get close to it, or when you slide like this, but... It's really cool. Sumo ring. <laughs> Dig sight. <laughs> Just in case you needed dinosaur stuff. Okay, then. Spa room? Kind of. Vinny, you have another wallpaper. I do. That is... where... this is where the lovin' happens. It's shaggy. It's shaggy, all right. Oh, God. It also kind of works well in here with the uh, cityscape. And I don't know if there's like an optical illusion, but it's it's got like dimension. Like, I don't know if it's doing the same kind of thing as the city, but it's actually kind of like rotating in a way that makes sense with the camera. It's about parallax. Yep. Awesome. And the last wallpaper I got was the exquisite wall. I am not into this one. I mean, it's got some depth to it. The lighting looks good on it, but I'm not really into it. I think it could be used in a museum. Belongs in a museum. It looks like it. Yeah, bathroom. That's where one might take a poop. That looks kind of decent to start for this room. Carpet in bathroom. I mean, people do have carpets in their bathrooms. This is a real thing. So now I have a white, simple, medium mat. I guess I'll just give that to someone. Vinny Bidet. I'm not- listen, I'm not looking to turn this into a bathroom necessarily, but hang on a minute. Do I feel a bug on my leg? Nope. No, that was not a bug. I- I'm not looking to turn this area into a bathroom, but I do have several bathroom things.
It's a shame the skeleton can't reach. Um, hmm. Okay, so first we, well, well here, uh, people have wanted me to show off the shitting mechanic. That's a way to put it nicely. I'm sure the Animal Crossing devs, if they heard me right now, they would like, they would be like, this guy has a potty mouth in it. We're never gonna watch one of his streams again, but I'm gonna show you. So here's how you do it. First, you go like this. You go over here. You wipe down the toilet a little bit. Then... And that takes care of that. And then you hop over to the bidet. With your pants on. And that takes care of that. Yeah, just dropping a chat off at the pool. Wash your hands. Oh, I can't. I don't have a sink. Maybe I have a sink. Let me take a look. Do I have a sink? I have a water cooler. <laughs> I have a garden ho uh, here, okay. We'll use the hose. Alex, the hose! Bathroom towel rack. I do have an exceptionally large amount of bathroom-related items. And I never intended on creating a bathroom, but... I think the game is pushing me into a bathroom... design. Okay, so then when you're done, you can just go over here and... Hose down your hands. Cardboard toilet. Oh, let's do a gist. A great big, a great big lark. In the courtyard of the king! <laughs> How he takes it! Is it? Is that what you're telling me? Okay, now I have to find the stuff. The contraband goods. Also, I've been informed that every other day, the glowing spot will be able to handle 99,000 bells. It's on like an every other day basis. I don't know how true that is, but that's, that's what I've been informed of. That's why I mention it without confirming. Sounds fake. Well, I'm not finding out. So that's how much stock I put in that. Vinny, it might just be a 50% chance. Is that what you're telling me? Oh. 
it's a 50% chance for a value anywhere higher than 50 than 10k bells. All right. Vinny, you missed a tree. It's fine. Definitely not going to be in that tree. 100% not going to be in the Oh fuck. Oh. Damn it. Scoot, do you have medicine for me? Scoot, I'm I'm injured. I'm injured, etiquette. 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 I'm I'm weak, etiquette. I'm weak. Have wood eggs been falling out of the fruit trees when you hit them lately? I just want to make sure it's just not me. Not just me. Coconut trees are the worst. Oh, God. Ugh. Oh, hey, this is done. That looks pretty cool. Another one on the other side would look nice, too. Yo, is that muscle milk? Son, there's muscle milk here. Toy box. I'm gonna buy that for Scoot. Wall-mounted tools. They're tools! Yeah, it's toys for the gnomes. So I got a gift here for Scoot and for the gnomes. Protein powder. Muscle milk gets swole. Vinny, sink for the bathroom? I have that outside already. It's not really much of a sink. Have you seen the website that helps predict turnip prices? I've... been made aware of it, but I haven't gone there to try to figure it out. I've been lucky that people have been inviting me to their town when the turnips have been just right. Like the moon, which apparently last night was a super moon. Super Blood Wolf Moon! Is that a, a gimp suit? Full body tights. Oh. I am kind of sewn into my machine right now. Sorry I can't chat, but uh, thanks for stopping by. You know, they can wear this stuff. So if I were to register some of my designs, they would actually wear it. Or there's a chance they would, at least. Look at the- look at these tights. Could be Pepsi Man. I just need someone to make me a Pepsi Man outfit. I'm good. Actually, let me pass on that. Pomp again.
It says beak, but isn't that a duck bill? It's more of a bill than a beak, isn't it? Is not. A bill is a beak. So a bill is a more specific word for a beak. But bill falls under the beak moniker. The, the category of beak. <laughs> Let's visit Humphrey, who's trying to be best friends with Scoot. Monster! Thanks, asshole. Huh? Oh, no, hang on. If I squint and stare and stare... Oh, that's just you, Vine. Don't scare an old man like that. Now, if I had to guess, you went and stuck your head in a wasp nest. It's all right. We've all been there. Well, go on. Get some medicine on that. It'll fix you right up. Hey, yeah, how's it going? Have you heard? There's supposed to be some kind of event happening soon on our island, Snort. Well, I say it's about time something interesting happened around here. I want to get to know folks here in the island better. I reckon you're a good one to start with. So, can I ask you something? Let's see now. Oh, do you have a dream job you hope to be doing someday, Snort? Actor. Why not? So you want to be an actor, do you? You do have the devastating good looks for it. I'll give you that. You just called me a monster, Humphrey. But that celebrity lifestyle is a real bitch. I know. Yeah. God, being in Z-list e-celeb is just so... You think you're on top of it, then it throws you off. Hold on tight just as long as you can't take it from me. Them good looks won't last forever, snort. Dude. Tanukis are really, really nice. Vinny, can you show your passport? What do you need? The three wacky digits? Let's see. There's my wacky digits right there. Vinny, what's your social security number? Oh, I got you, bro. Here, take a look at this. Five, seven, six, eight, seven, four, five, two, one, five, six. Uh, sir, I don't know what you're talking about. Five, seven, six. Yeah, I heard you the first time, sir. Paula. DIY recipe. Wooden waste bin. That's, oh, that's me. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I am... Some people call me Binny. So...
so far, no tree furniture. It's gonna be one of those things, huh? It's just gonna be one of those days, searching for that furniture. And big clams. Got one. Just need three more. Just got squirted on. While looking at that recipe. I'm gonna blame the Easter Bunny. Your face looks like it hurts. Yeah, don't pick fight fights with wasps. Wasps are nice, but they'll fight. No worries, though, here. It'll heal right away with this medicine. Thanks, Eg Egbert. I get stung a bunch, too, so I always try to carry medicine with me, and also because it tastes like blue. Look at his footprints. It makes, like, footprints. In the sa per I didn't ever even notice that before. Man, I can go all kinds of places now that we've got... I got a way over the cliffs. I'm gonna explore everywhere and meet new bugs. I might even frolic doodle da. Oh, they reference the fucking stuff that you do in town. <laughs> that face. Uh, do I have a wasp? Do I have anything for you? Be back with wasp. Hold that thought. Didn't I just see you over there, you know? You don't have a twin, do you? The other day I had this crazy dream where I was fighting a coconut tree wearing pastel tights, you know. Came at me with a high grab, so I went in low, hit it with an uppercut. A load of candy eggs spilled out. Oh god! I thought this was gonna be a good, non-egg-related piece of dialogue. Legit, legit present. Non egg essential presentry. Metal can. It's it's garbage. I'm fine with that. It's not garbage. Wait, no, I mean a metal can is, is a garbage bin, no? No, it's different? Oh, okay. Friendship. I've got, like, true friendships now. Oh, it really is just a metal can. It's canola oil. I wonder if that's a... Turtle. I would- I would like an actual... My favorite villager was the turtle. I like how there's actually no turtle... ...villagers in this game. Right? There's no turtles. It's only at night for the turtle? Uh... I guess I'm not turtly enough for the turtle club. There's Tortimer. Oh, but Tortimer's, like, you know, 
you know. <clears throat> On vacation. I forgot about Tortimer. Man, those cherry blossoms are just falling all over the place. Furniture 2, come on. I got the first one was a mug, which wasn't that great. Imagine being Drake and moving into the campsite. And still seeing the missing scoot icon. Or a poster. Being like, well, I'm a duck. Oh, got it. Okay, good. Serving cart. Yes, but you're not the duck. Donut. Man, I haven't had a donut in so long. Thanks for the call. Thanks for inviting me over. I want to see, uh, I want to maybe see a garden rock made by the folks here. Huh? Think you can do it? Really? Yeah, this is so cool. I'll give this to you then. A recipe for garden rock. A recipe for a garden rock? Today's the only day that I'm here. I'm going home tomorrow, so the sooner the better. Uh... Uh... Garden Rock. Mm -hmm. Time it is... ...for the rock. Real good at overshooting that, um, item wheel. Did Celia get rid of one of the wasps? <laughs> You're always welcome to stop in and relax, Feathers. Bunny day's almost here. When I was little, I used to go hit trees, right? We know. Coconut trees had more than the others. Crazy! It feels like everyone on the island is holding their breath, waiting. I wonder what's coming, or who. You look ready for a workout in your frog tea. I should probably be getting more exercise myself, Feathers. You know, I already have a mug. Do you, do you want this? Are you sure you want to give me a mug? Thank you so much. I've been hoping for something like this. I've been looking at things like this to use as my accents in my place. No return gift for your old pal? Got, got any weird outfits for me? I think you might just have a carp there. I don't want to put you on the spot, but would you sell that to me for 450 bells? Okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> this really helps me out. What are you going to do with it? Oh, dinner. How much does a carp usually sell for? I read somewhere that the choices you make in home furnishing are based on your innermost desires. I'm a little nervous about what you learn about me from my home decor. That you like wasps? I wonder what's inside. I'll just take a teeny tiny peek. There's nothing in here. Oh. Three hundred for... So she, she, um, 
could give me an extra 150 bells for that thing. The delivery fee? Why, you seem well, don't you, Snappy? Are you enjoying the blossoms? No, not as much as, um... Are you enjoying the blossoms? Cherry Blossom Day and Festival is so amazing. They're so beautiful. You can craft so many pieces of furniture. But did you know that you can get eggs by chopping down coconut trees? Like, believe you me, darling. I do not like to go around spreading rumors, but you won't believe what rumor I heard. I heard there's something strange happening when you take an island tour with Nook Miles ticket. Eggs are coming out of the rocks! Rocks! Have you heard the rumor yet? They're saying that our island will be hosting its first big event soon. I can't wait. We all get behind. I'm sure it'll be an enormous success. Snappy. Like the Pixie song, Where Is My Mind? And the lyric... When it goes, animals were hiding behind little rocks. Nope, we have the updated version now. I'm missing one fossil. Um, no one's seen any dig spots, right? Vinny, it turns out eggs are actually have giant centipedes developing in them. Get out of here. I don't want to hear about that. It's awful. There was a time I was playing with, like, one of those little, like, bean pods that came out of a tree. And it was just... I opened it up, and a, like a big beetle came out of it. And it was like, I never played with the bean pods ever again. It had eaten its way in. Or maybe it was on the other side of it, I don't, I don't know, but the weird thing is, I don't remember a lot from my childhood, but I remember that pretty vividly. Was it John, Paul, Paul, George, or Ringo? It's Ping- Pingo. Yeah, uh, it's me, Pingo. Hello. Go- mm -hmm. Not even funny. Definitely not funny, but especially not the word Pingo. I don't know what that word is. It's not supposed to be funny. Uh, swinging bench is the hot item. Huh. Chat, when I was, um... When I was younger... I had, like, um, you know, I like to go out, I like to go do stuff, I like to, uh, look at bugs, not necessarily be around bugs, but I like to look at them, like, not touch them or anything, um, so for me, examining all kinds of stuff, like, again, I had video games, but I liked being outside a lot, too, I liked, you know, looking at ants, for example. And, um, they would be under the trees, and, you know, I would, that was fun. I don't know, I just enjoyed that. And then, one time, I noticed, I was looking for some weird bugs. 
not to talk to, like, the rooster, but I was, I was, um... I noticed there was some, like, strange nest, right, on one of the trees. And it was, like, kind of slimy and weird. And I'm like, what is that? And I got really curious, so I got in close. And I started, like... I'm like, is that... What's the shape? What is that shape? It was a really weird shape. So I started jostling the tree a little bit, and you wouldn't fucking believe it, but eggs came out of it, because Bunny Day is on the horizon. And did you know that the coconut trees have more eggs? I mean, some of that was true. I still liked to explore, like... Obviously... Um... I embellished a bit, but I did... I, I did genuinely enjoy exploring and seeing weird little insects and stuff. It was like, I was a young Carl Pilkington. I guess most of us were, or a lot of us. Um, yeah, I genuinely don't see the other dig spot. Do one quick once over. I, um, here's a true story that does not involve egg japes. I would go to Connecticut. My uncle, at the time, had a house in Connecticut. And there were all these little tree frogs. I told this story on stream, but there were tree frogs. Like, all over the fucking place. Like, you couldn't walk more than two feet without seeing little, like, tiny frogs. Um, but yeah, I had tree frogs for a while. Like, I had them, fed them and then brought them back to Connecticut. Yeah, it was like little divas. They were nice. They were good frogs. Yeah, I can't find this dig spot, man. I don't know. Shit's gone. Whatever. It's probably behind a fucking building. Vinny, right side of the camp is another dig spot. You saw it? How did I miss that? How did I miss that? That's so... Rem Lazar. Thank you, helpful chat member. I wonder what cord that is. Don't... Watch, I'm gonna get so fucking bored in my house over the next couple weeks that I'm gonna end up learning all the Animal Crossing songs. It's not gonna happen. Chat member had a request. So 
Something like that. Right. Play KK Rider. No thanks. Okay. I guess this is all just quick bells then. So, just... Just A and D. Simple. Vinny, Mar YouTube is now recommending me marbles on stream from random channels. Help. You now love marbles. Whether or not you know it, your favorite thing in the world right now is marbles. And YouTube has determined through its algorithm just how much you love marbles. It really is like, I'll tell you what, Westworld Season 3 so far has been a, a little, I've liked it mostly. It's been a little weird, but I like it. And it's going into stuff like that like the algorithm and how it chooses what you like and what you do and who you're going to be like it projects like 50 years from now or 30 to 50 years and it's like hmm and then you think about youtube and it's like yeah well um youtube is just finding videos for me to watch based on what i already watch and you know what it's kind of good recommendations Vinny, did you hear that the developers of the Messenger got Yasunori Mitsuda for their next game? What is it, Sea of Stars? Yeah, Mitsuda is going to be a guest composer. And that is exciting. Who's Mitsuda? Um, Chrono Trigger, Chrono Cross. What, Xenogears, too? Um... God, that dude's uh, Mario Party. He started the Ringles, right. Xenoblade 1 and 2. Yeah, he's like, if you check out his credentials, that dude has been everywhere. Like, he's he's been in the industry. And he's been- he's done a lot of the song. He's done a lot of stuff. Give that to Scoot tomorrow. Someone said Chrono Cross may be my favorite video game soundtrack, honestly. I... Yeah, it's... For me, it's a little tougher to choose, because I love Chrono Cross's soundtrack so much, but I, I would still say that... Oh, man. Um, I mean, he's composed two of my favorite soundtracks ever. Chrono Trigger and Cross. So... It, the dude is not, like, a one-trick composer. He was able to deliver twice, in the best possible way. And, yeah, his other songs, like anything else I've ever heard by him, has always been solid.
gnomes contained. And he forgot Drake's rock. I'll get him his rock. <laughs> For crushing purposes. Okay, good. Okay, good. Always fucking press the wrong button. Always. The eye mask, too. <laughs> Remember, none of this is custom. This is just in the game. Oh, you can hear the slapping sounds. Oh shit! It's this song! KK Parade! Perfect timing. Hey, that wasp is uneven. Socks for? I don't know. Oh god, loud. Another cord in there it goes up to. Sorry, I'm gonna. That's gonna be bugging me. I'm gonna have to try that later. It goes. Where does it go? I like that. Th those are some good chords. Maybe sixth, seventh. I don't really know. I'm. I'm bad at chord. I'm bad at like music. But I like. I like the sound of those chords. They're nice. Scoot, what are you doing? I don't want it to see me. can't let him see me. I think he sees me. Oh god. Oh god, what's he doing? Oh, he's smelling the flowers. That's nice. Is he, like, doing anything? What are you doing with that wood? Hey, we meet again. So this is weird. Yeah, no shit, it's weird. Look at my face. I was doing my morning boulder lift, same as always, and a stone egg popped out. God damn it, Scoot. I expected better of you. Did you know that Bunny Day is coming up on April 12th? And that if you hit coconut trees, eggs are more likely to come out? Uh, 
Oh, right, Drake's. Oh. Drake's Rock. Craftable garden rock. Fifteen stones. Y you just bung a bunch of stones together and then you get a giant stone. I mean, it kind of makes sense. I, I guess you glue them together? You chisel it? Hey, Mario! I made a, a, a rock here for Drake! Luigi. That's a stone. I made it. I chiseled it. I, I, I made it. It was me. I, I did it. Mario by myself. Luigi, I've been chiseling stones 25 years. And I've never seen <laughs> someone make another stone out of smaller stones. For what purpose? There was a duck, his name is Drake. <laughs> Wanna hear a story? I'll tell you a story. The story goes like this. One day someone from Poor Island thought Garden Rock. Then they ran to a DIY bench and made their thought into a thing. I don't know if that story is true, but man, it's inspiring. Let me give you my rimmed glasses as a thank you. Thanks for a real great souvenir. I love this island so much. I hope you'll invite me again. Oh shit, I do have the Harry Potter get up now. Alright, I'm gonna get out of the gimp suit real quick. How much are those worth, chat? That's a peacock butterfly, right? Two point five K. It's pretty good. Not as good as four K from the Empress, or Emperor Butterfly, whatever that one was, but I'll take it. I didn't, you know, I don't see them a whole lot, so I figured maybe they were worth a little something extra. Alright. For real this time, I'm gonna be... What, what did Harry Potter wear? Did he wear this or this? Red and yellow? Did he wear boot boots? What did he wear? Did he wear shoes? I don't think he wore a gimp mask, though. You know what? He definitely wore a gimp mask in some unauthorized fiction. Definitely. Yeah, J.K. Rowling went back and revised her, uh, Harry Potter sometime last year. Harry, you're a gimp. Harry. 
had a wand. That doesn't really look like a regular wand. Eh, never mind. Okay, we'll do one island, and then I'm gonna wrap up. My dishes are almost done. Dinner tonight is gonna be butter garlic chicken. It's a recipe that my, uh... Oh, my old, my pappy used to do back in the day. And, uh, so I got it from a Campbell's, um, bag. <laughs> it's, it's just sauce that you put in the oven with the chicken and potatoes and stuff. I don't have any asparagus, though, that's a problem. So I'm gonna replace it with broccoli. Between the cheeks, there lies a little story that my Grammy and my Peppy told me I was a boy. Vinny, hopefully big clams on this island, be sure to look. You know, you could also probably do an ACDC cover of Big Jack and have it be Big Clam. Someone said asparagus is good grilled. It's excellent grilled. Someone said Orville looks delicious. And I, I don't think that was a preferred, preferred comment. I believe that was, boy, wouldn't it be nice to chop up some, some meat, put that shit on the grill. Don't do that. I mean, that's not nice. Dude is sapient. No comment. Chat, is it turtle time yet? It's 9 p.m. Chat, is it... it, it is it crab time? It is now time for crab. And McCartney's baseline on Dear Prudence. So good. Paul McCartney is one of the most... I don't know if some would consider him overrated just because he's fucking Paul McCartney, but as a bassist, his bass lines were so fucking good, so creative. Set the, like, foundation for so many... You know, basis t t t to come later, but especially on Dear Prudence. Hey, Bulldog. Oh, yeah, hey, Bulldog is great. You know, you know, the music after the Beatles, a lot of it was influenced by us. You know, we were, we were just a couple of guys just playing our instruments. And then later on in life, there was this music that came around. You know, me and John, we would listen to it. But there was a 
a new genre that had emerged. It was called thrash metal. And I really liked it, you know? I don't know why I didn't... It's like I was pressing the button, but not enough. Someone asked him if he's into heavy music, heavy metal music. Well, I mean, Helter Skelter is a pretty fucking heavy song for its time. You know, there was a really cool genre that came out about last year. It's called penis music. You know, we definitely influenced that a little bit. Couldn't not have... Couldn't not have, Sir Paul? What is what does that mean exactly? Wild Honey Pie is penis music. That that's the one of the worst songs on the White Album. Like my favorite Beatles album is the White Album, but I also acknowledge that there's a lot of filler and trash on there. There's like a, it's three or four songs I just don't come back to ever, and that's one of them. I listen to it. Like I just you know, it's, if it's on, I'm not gonna get up and change it. But it's just silly. It's just a silly song. But my favorite Led Zeppelin album is Physical Graffiti, and that's also a double album that has a lot of filler on it. My favorite Floyd is Animals, but I sometimes say The Wall is my favorite Floyd. That's a double album. That... Honestly, I don't think that has any filler on it, but that's just me. There's some songs that are better than others, but I don't know, I just, I love The Wall. I can't really complain about it too much. There's some lesser songs on it, for sure, but I... It all tells a story, it all goes to a common goal, a common point. Someone said the wall is filler. Oh. Groan. There is a lot of mortar in a wall, so that would fill it up, yeah. Bring the boys back stone. Bring the boys back home. Nah, it's not filler. I mean, there's a point to the song. Whether or not it's a good song is up to you, but I think it is a very deliberate attempt to say something. There's a message. Wish You Were Here was filler. Oh god, we're not doing this. No, 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 I can't. I love Wish You Were Here. God. Oh, a new thing. Tadpole. It's just a tad small. Isn't that animals? It's not like a little... Isn't that tadpoles? Vinny, to be honest, my favorite Floyd song is When the Tigers Broke Free and no one talks about it. That's one of the few songs that, that actually makes me tear up when I watch the movie, or when I listen to the final cut. That is an astounding... ...an astoundingly sad song when you know what it's about.
What's it about? It's when the tigers broke free. It's about the Tiger King. Tiger tanks. It's about his dad in World War II. How his uh, dad was in um, the Royal Fusiliers, and I think there was a bridge, and they, they had to hold this stupid hill or something, and um, the tiger tanks broke free kind of deal. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's a sad song. It's a lot of that throughout the wall in Final Cut. It's not even originally on the Final Cut, but anyway. Thank you for listening to the music podcast yet again. Animal Crossing definitely leads to these conversations just because there's not always a lot going on. And, um... Honestly, with fucking quarantine and all the anxiety in the world and every everywhere, it's been nice to talk about and listen to some Beatles and Floyd. It just brings me back to, like, a... Even though I've heard the music a million times, and everyone else has too, for the most part, it just, it feels good to listen to. What's your favorite Who album? Tommy? I love Quadrophenia too, though. Quick One is good. It's, yeah, but Tommy. Oh, well, Who's Next is great too, but... Tommy. Tommy, can you hear me? Best Bowie? I've already done that a million times, but if you want to know my opinion, it's Station to Station. Followed by Low, and then maybe Ziggy? That's just, you know, that's just me. My, my, uh, well, Hunky Dory is pretty amazing, too. Best gorillas. Yeah, I'm okay. We've, um, so I have a, a video on the Full Sauce channel where it's just me answering music questions for like two hours. And when I say music questions, it's just Vinny, what's your favorite this? Who's your favorite this? <laughs> what's your favorite album? So I've done all this. Like, if you, you know, if there's any interest in that information from some jabroni that you've never met in your life, that's there. But... I will tell you my favorite gorillas is still Demon Days. Oh, let me submit the tadpole. Apparently tomorrow we get a new gorilla song too from Song Machine. What is the Q&A called? I think just type Vine Sauce Music Q&A. Vinny, I thought it was Plastic Beach. Also remember you liking humans. You remember incorrectly. I did not like humans all that much. Couple good songs. I always say, I love, like, four or five songs on that album. Tadpoles, undoubtedly, you know, turn into frogs eventually. I must say, I find them impossibly adorable with their squiggly little tails, but even cuter when they sprout legs. Why, we can witness accelerated evolution in these squirmy little ones. It makes me so emotional. It's Diva's son that I just donated to Blathers. Sleeping Powder is good on humans. Sleeping Powder was not on humans. That came out after. As a single, Sleeping Powders is really fun. I like that one. But... I mean, Charger might be my favorite song on, on that album, on humans. Charger... She's my collar. Um, Saturn's Bars is okay. Andromeda's good. Saturn's Bar? What is it called? I don't even know the name of that song, actually. Never mind.
It's funny because I was so excited for Noel Gallagher to be on an album with uh, Damon, and I hated the song that they did together on there. I thought it was just fucking rubbish. I mean, you know, normally you wouldn't want the amps facing away from the drums in a space like this, right? But for for show-off purposes. So that room was just very cluttered. There's fucking guitars in the way of the doorway. Someone took the samples from all the instruments in this game and made a song. They, like, cut everything together. Like, they just recorded... It's a shame I can't actually play a beat before it goes into some nonsensical... Oh. Why is Harry Potter in the Beatles? Well, I mean, Lennon wore these glasses, too. Pottles. <laughs> yes, the pottles. Alright. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, thank you for listening to my inane conversation. I hope you all have a good day. I'll be back later. Resident Evil 3. Uh, might do a VR stream tonight, too. Those are the, the two things that I'm looking into. So take care of yourselves. Um, I hope you will stick around and wait for the auto hosts for more streamers and uh, stay healthy and safe and all that stuff. Please, please do. Thank you, mods. Thank you, everybody that's been helping out around the channel. And for anyone, once again, twitch.tv slash team slash vine sauce or you wait here for the auto host. Take care and see you later. I just don't have any idea what you're talking about. Not a joke. But... Organized by a couple of jesters. Is this you? Is it? Oh, let's do a jest. A great big, a great big lark in the courtyard of the king and see how he takes it. Is it? <laughs>